WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 10 a.m. Eastern. No, not 10. Noon Eastern time as I pull up that charts. Noon on Friday, four hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets in positive. Positive. I'll get their negative territory. S&P is negative by 10 points, trading at 28.84. We get the Nasdaq right now, negative by 45 points, trading at 77.92. Dow Jones off just 40 points, had been off as much as 100 points. The Dow 40 on the dot in the negative at 26,066. We got gold up about $10 at 13.53. Oil up 55 cents at 52.84. And how about Bitcoin? 84.18, up $157 dollar index with some strength, up 471 ticks at 96.980. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the indices, and we'll start it off with the S&P 500. So we get a bit of a pop from 11 a.m. We trade at 28.80. You have the S&Ps make it all the way up to 28.88, pulling back a bit over about the last hour, last half hour. We reached that high at about 11.35. You have the S&Ps trading 28.84. Dow 30 bouncing around in about a range today, lower end of that range of 26,020, we'll call it, upper end 26,100, kind of right back to where we were before the market opened. Quite a sell-off on that 930 bar, but we've clawed back most of those losses. Excuse me, NASDAQ 100, 74.74. We made an intraday high of 74.93, so about 20 points off that level. Gold contract, quite an acceleration overnight. Reached a high on gold of 13.6195, five pennies away from 13.62. We got gold traded at 13.5345. And we'll jump to the euro because gold with some acceleration in the face of a strong dollar. Check out that weak euro and continuing weakness, 112.16 in the euro. And there's your crude oil chart, getting a little bit of steam to the upside from about 4.30. We're trading at 51.80. We're now up about a dollar from that level, trading 52.75. In terms of what else you have happening in the market, Facebook getting a pop today as their cryptocurrency may be, quote unquote, one of the most important initiatives in its history, one of their analysts says. Now that analyst bullish that stock, but nonetheless, they're looking for a white, pa white paper June 18th, that's Tuesday, talking about this crypto and the market to jump over. And that's beyond meat before we jump away, up 7%, not bad. And Facebook up 2%, maybe on the heels of that news. Cryptocurrency from Facebook. I don't know if I trust my information with Facebook for my money. Stay tuned, folks. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien, all this afternoon. Have a great Friday.